What's your problem with Charleston anyway? Very strange. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll dump the last bit of that, right? So if he's at home thinking, da, 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 no one heard it. No one heard it, see? Can we ban Scott? He's annoyed me. Ban Scott. Uh, let's go to Ross. He's a Spurs fan. Hello, Ross. Oh, it's Ross. Hello, boys. How you doing? Yeah, we're First good, thanks, time Ross. caller, so go easy on me. We'll go <laughs> easy. Oh, we'll go easy. Gone, thank you. Thank you. Um, long Spurs fan, but I just really want to get your boys' opinion on how good is Harry Winks, really? Because every time I watch him, I mean, I play centre mid. I'm 37 years old. I play Sunday league. I'm all right. I'm not brilliant. But, you know, when I look at players who I enjoy watching, it's players like Luka Modric, it's players like Pirlo, it's players like Moussa Dembele, who, you know, strong on the ball rather than, you know, having the awareness. I look at Harry Winks and he gets run over by any average player who goes tight on him. He gets run over. And it's so frustrating to watch. I don't even think he's a Premier League standard player, let alone Spurs oh, who are trying their best to get in the top four. I mean, <clears throat> he, he, he just seems like a little boy playing a man's game to me. I mean, I compare him to some of the good players I see at basic grassroots level. I really want to get your real opinion. Do you think on you could get in Spurs in midfield, with... Ross? Is that what you're saying? Me? No, of course no. not. No. <laughs> the, fit... Ross, the fitness is the difference, I think. You Ross, know, what, I think what kind of player are you player like? Class. So what kind of you player are you like, liking yourself to a player? <laughs> well, um, uh, I look alike Keith Gillespie, but um, right. no, okay. I, I'm, I'm thing. probably very, I'm probably a very, 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 very slow mixture of uh, of uh, Luka Modric, probably. <laughs> God, you'd say, technically you're very gifted then. Well, so you're a skinny yeah, little yeah, thing yeah. with a big nose yeah. and quite talented. Exactly. You couldn't have put it more on the money there, Andy. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you very much for that. The only other thing I wanted to say is that, look, Jose plays expensive football, gets hammered a few goals. I do question his substitutions because if you're taking a strong Undombele off the pitch who can protect the ball and make things happen, you replace him with Harry Winks, but you put Sissoko on the right. Now, for me, I would put Sissoko centre mid, who's strong, he can protect the ball. You've got to put someone on the right who, who's got half a chance of putting a ball in. So Soko can't put a ball in. So it's just questionable no, decisions from Jose at times. Um, and I just really, look, what, what do you boys think really Spurs really need to sustain oh, a bit God. of a challenge for top I mean, look, we're off. Stuff? We're off. At the end of the day, the board spend a little bit of money, but it's, it's not cut the mustard, really. And we've got a top-class manager in who's supposedly a serial winner. Can't moan about do you know that. What, Ross? It's Ross, still not happening. So it, what do we need? It wasn't that long ago that Spurs were the top of the Premier League, and we were questioning whether or not they could win it. I remember having conversations. I think I Spurs could win the Premier League. Yeah. Now they're eighth. Jose was trying to nick. It. Now they're eighth. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and now we're saying, what on earth is wrong with Spurs? Mm. Mm. I don't have no, the answer. I don't know. If you look at that back line compared to what we had when we had Vertonghen, Toby, Danny Rose, and Carl Walker who were all top of their game, yeah. they were all mid-20s, compared to now where you've got Dyer, Sanchez, Toby, who's older, you know, you've got Serge Aurier, who's got loads of problems in his locker, with Doherty, who's, you know, six or seven out of ten backing him up. Serge Reglion, like him, mm. we'll see how he yeah. does. Yeah. Ben Davis yeah. again, I compare him to a, a lower end of the Premier League sort of championship standard player, really. So if, oh, if you look at that defence, and we're never going to win the league. You're never going to win the league. We've got a top-class front line and a, and a, and a, a low-class back line. And a, I just think maybe he needs a bit more backing and a little bit more time, maybe. OK. Thanks, okay. Ross. Anything cheers, else? Ross. No, that's it, boys. Thanks for the show. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, cheers, Ross.